Hi, in this video I'm going to be looking at the barcode manager application again. In particular I'll be looking at the barcode lookup mode. Here I'm looking at the app settings screen and I have the barcode lookup mode selected here. This is useful for when you need to look up values but you don't necessarily need to record any values. So you might for example be checking stock items as they're being returned to shelves. You might be using this feature to scan event tickets or to do some sort of audit on items in an office. Really any application where you need to look up some data but you don't necessarily need to record that data. Unlike the other modes in the application where the lookup file is optional, for barcode lookup we have to select a reference file and in this case I have my hardware store sample file. These files are built into the application. They're used for demonstration and testing purposes. I'll select that file. The file does contain a header row. Now the barcodes are in column 3. And I want to return all of these items except for, let's skip the barcode because we already know what that is and we can probably skip the status as well. I'll save my changes and I can start scanning barcodes. So here is an item that I've scanned, B109, barcode ending in 162 and we have the details about this product. Note that we're not recording any data about this product or whether or not we've scanned it, nor can we send any data. Once we're happy with what we see, we can clear that and scan again. If later we decide we don't want to see the stock status, and perhaps we don't want to see the zone either. We can change the settings in app settings to include the status but exclude the stock status and also exclude the zone. Save my changes and scan another barcode. So now we have the status but the other two items are not shown. This is a simple and easy way to look up items based on their barcode and display the data for the user. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.